Put him in there. Gently. We'll deal with him tomorrow. Delson wasn't wrong. Now, how to find Stanford? There's something flashing under their skin. That's not very discreet. This is what happens to mortals who step out of line. It's not very discreet. Clearance implant required. Mm -hmm. Digital security. Clever. That's not very discreet. Mm -hmm. I've never seen a machine like that. to be a small card. This implant could be useful. It's a perfect fit. Let's see how it works. <clears throat> there, I've got an implant. But it's blinking. It's not very discreet. Clearance implant required. That doesn't work on corpses. 
I can fix that. They don't know everything about us yet. A closet. Hmm, disappointing. They haven't been used for years. A vaccination campaign from 1988. There must have been more traffic here back then. They don't appear to use this area. How strange. This looks like an implant scanner. Higher clearance required. Restricted access. Interesting. Closed. These hallways. They converted a hospital. Hey! Who are you? You shouldn't be on this floor. Identify yourself immediately, or I'm calling security. It's entirely normal for me to be here. You have nothing to worry about. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm a little stressed out. Usually the men in suits stay downstairs. But you seem different. In a good way. Not like those Vatican guys, but I shouldn't say anything. Is there a problem with them? Let's just say, I thought we had tough standards, but the Society of St. Leopold has proven me wrong. Before they came here and changed everything, it was actually pretty simple. What do you mean? Now there are tons more clearance levels. They're really proud of that downstairs. But the truth is, there are tons of errors all the time, and everyone has to update their implants constantly. Is that why mine doesn't work on the closet? Is that the first time it's happened to you? Unbelievable! What do I need to do? Just like everyone else, we're following procedure. My question isn't about the protocol, but what you can do to help a colleague in need. Yeah, I get it. I've got a bunch of green implants in the safe in my office. The code is 423. You can take one, but you have to remember to bring it back. Can you remind me how it works? Go to any implant machine. It's really easy. There are instructions if you need them. Thank you. Of course. Scalpel. Their equipment is in perfect condition. There's no more room in the morgue. There's no more room in the morgue. Here are the implants. No red implants. 
that reserved the Society of St. Leopold. Blue implants. I have one already. Got to On your knees! Hands behind your head! Lower your weapon and let me through. On your knees, I said! Now! He resisted. How? When Stanford learns that his colleague was held up, he'll want to know who was responsible for it. There will be consequences to pay. Stanford! Scan your implant. close. I'll have to be careful. It's much larger than I thought. What? me again. I can't get into anything. I'm telling you, the database is locked. And if I keep it up, I'll block the entire system. Sorry, I don't see what else I can do to help you. I'd ask Stan for himself. But he's not on this floor. The archives? You think so? Maybe. I'll take a look. Well, if I could open the door... It'll open in a minute. I hope. I like working at night. It's quieter. Different laboratory wings. Three members of the Society of St. Leopold are in charge on this floor. Paveron, Mana, and Gallagher. I'm 
an implant database. If it were unlocked, I could locate Stanford. But I would need a red implant to do that. One from the Society of St. Leopold. What do these symbols mean? Oh, what now? Please, the door won't open. I thought your test was over. Yeah, but you have to put everything back the way it was. Otherwise, the security blocks everything. I'll take care of it, but I have to finish this first. <laughs> Very practical. That's why we do our tests in the middle of the night. Yeah, yeah. If you're in a hurry, you can take a look. <sighs> I'll wait. All that for nothing. I don't understand. That's more like it. Change the number that's displayed. Oh, is that it? There we go. Finally, I hope I find something in the archives. But I doubt I will. It looks like a converted military base. Left over from the Cold War, most likely. So much hostility. This kindred must have suffered. Hurry up, Henry. What part of, I need those results, wasn't clear? <laughs> a child would understand? Why can't you? That's a lot of blood. What are they doing here? Concentrate. If Favarone thinks I work better under pressure. Human blood. I thought they only studied us. It would appear they are attempting to use our regenerative abilities on humans. They'll never be able to do it. sign of hostility even towards me slow breathing he's dying no sign of hostility even towards me slow breathing he's dying he doesn't look too good Yeah. 
clearance required. Wrong implant? A red implant. Maybe the one that I need. The epidermis is already breaking down. I've been working on this for way too long. This locker belongs to Professor Henry. Higher clearance required. No, that doesn't work. Decontamination is not possible. Bacteriological suit required. <laughs> Obviously. His results aren't good. Not everyone has work to do, but I do. There's a red implant. It might be the one I'm looking for. Hmm. There must be a way to get him out of here. Florence that belong to former hunters. What do they hope to get out of them? Excuse me. If you're looking for a little light reading, this is not the place. I'm looking for something a little different. Can I help you? The person in charge here. If I needed to talk to him, how would I go about doing it? It's not easy. In general, Father Joseph doesn't leave the conservation area until he has finished his work. If he's restoring something, it can take a long time. He locks himself in with everything he needs, food and drink, and we don't see him again until he's done. What happens if there's an emergency? Look around you and ask yourself, what kind of emergency could there ever be in a museum or library? So he doesn't come out? That doesn't mean he can't be reached. He approves every request to borrow a book from the conservation area through a computer system. So, if I request a book, he'll come and hand deliver it to me? No, it's automatic. He'll just approve the request. His work is very important. We do everything we can not to interrupt him. I'd rather you not disturb him. You have to admit, it's unusual. I've rarely seen such extreme measures taken for a library. It's like being in a bank. It's worse than a bank. It's a museum. I'm intrigued. All these works are rare and precious. If anything were to happen to them, it would be a devastating loss. Especially for Father Joseph. He spends a lot of time maintaining them. He really cares about them. I see that we have collected a lot of things. Yes, and it can be complicated to find your way around. What are you working on? I'm researching interrogation methods. I understand. It's not at all my specialty, but I recommend that you look at the works from the Middle Ages. 
The Spanish Inquisition was particularly effective in extracting confessions from heretics and other things. Thanks for the advice. I don't know what they can feel, but I remember reading something about a retractor used on a particularly sensitive part of the body. I'll be going now. This emblem has been severely burned. Newspapers sure have changed. Oh, <laughs> 
All that for... Oh, I'm having a grand old time. This kindred was starving. How long did they keep him here? I'm not interested in that. A book is already checked out. Please return it before making a new request. Cain went to Amor. Excuse me. My conviction might not be as strong as it used to, but I can still sense your true nature. My stomach is a nut. I'm not wrong, am I? And you aren't crying out for help. Should I? We could just have a conversation. Quietly. Why? I've been waiting for this moment for a long time. To meet a kindred face to face. Who knows? Maybe you'll also learn something from the exchange. I am Father Joseph Manor. You can call me Galeb. Galeb? Very well. That's a much better start to our conversation. Or an exchange of best practices. I consider myself an interpreter of the great book of your existence, and you are a fascinating subject. What exactly are you looking for? You intrigue me. From a theological standpoint, you're an enigma. That's almost certainly for the best. I'm not so sure of that. Perhaps if we understood you better. It's not that simple. We'll always incite fear in humans. The mere mention of us generates a reaction of disgust. That could evolve. With time and patience. Time is one thing we don't have. The Inquisition only stops when all is consumed and reduced to ashes. Well, maybe we could find another remedy. You might be exactly what I'm looking for here. We could work together, but you're siding with the barbarians. A scholar like you has no place here. You're mistaken about us. Our common interest is to understand you. Then you must be blind. What makes you say that? The first Inquisition targeted heretics. We all know how that played out. In torture and flames. But that's all so far behind us. We don't have to make the same mistakes. I'm sure you know better than I do what happened in London and Vienna. And now, Boston. Unfortunately, the evidence is stacking up. Maybe what we're doing here isn't any different. It's obvious. Open your eyes. Admit that we can't just stand by and do nothing. Vampires are a threat. 
Why should I help you? Just think of all that we could do together. A mutually beneficial partnership would be ideal for a researcher such as yourself. Indeed. An unprecedented alliance. The offer is tempting, I admit. You must understand my hesitation. If you were in my shoes, would you trust yourself? You're not a sheep. That's obvious. But that doesn't mean you'd help your enemies. You made your decision when you chose not to call security. There's no reason to hesitate now. You don't understand the predicament in which I find myself. It seems so simple when you say it. But if evil is among us, it will be difficult to defeat. Like the snake in the Garden of Eden. So, I'll cut off its head. You mean to kill Monsignor Stanford? You're mad. That's not the solution. If we don't end this now, who knows what will remain of Boston when Stanford is finished with it. We won't go down without a fight. One single death to save so many lives. A simple sacrifice. I understand. I don't know where Stanford is, but you can look for Chiara Favarone in the clinic. She's the only person who has access to that on the main computer. Very well, then. But please, no unnecessary violence. Leave, now, before someone finds us together. Not so fast. I'm counting on your discretion. And I am counting on yours. He won't betray me. And who knows? Maybe I'll run into him again. When you're done with that, get started on cleaning the last tank. Very well. What? What do you want? My time is precious, and I've got a boss breathing down my neck. So if you have no business here, Either leave, or I'll call your friends to drag you out of here. Shut up and listen to me. I'm not here to play games. Nobody has time to waste here. Neither you nor I. Excuse me. I'm really under pressure right now. The problem with the tanks? You know about that? Yeah, that and everything else. There aren't enough of us to keep it all running and keep up the pace. Well, I'll be getting back to work now. Your shoulder. Are you hurt? What? Oh, that. No. It's blood, but it's not mine. When you spend your days dissolving bodies, you're bound to get splashed. I'll be on my way now. I don't understand. All right. 
That's better. The latest results aren't good. Uh, tell me you weren't there for Favarone's meltdown. I only caught the end. Great. She yells at me in front of everyone now. It's her way of motivating the troops. There are less painful techniques. I'd be a lot faster if I didn't have to double as her personal assistant. I'm in the middle of a promising procedure, but I keep getting interrupted. No matter. I'd better stop complaining. It can't be easy for a professional like you to have someone poking sticks in your spokes. It's hard to complain because she's very efficient. And she's not just anyone in the Society of St. Leopold. She adapted very quickly here. Got the attention of the higher-ups. So, I deal with it. For the cause. Henry, if you don't want to be the next body under my scalpel, I need those lab results by tomorrow. It's just a routine inspection. Could you open your locker for me? What? I've never heard of any sort of inspection. That's an invasion of my privacy. I shouldn't really tell you this, but you're up for a promotion. Far away from the Society of St. Leopold. That would be a dream come true. I know, you could run your own laboratory. But for that, you just have to run a few checks. Like inspecting my locker? It's really not a big deal. Fine. My code is 1492. Very well. I'll be going now. Back to work. Did you need something else? Can you open the door to the cold storage? I'm afraid not. Dr. Favarone has the security pass. She doesn't give it to just anyone. I'll be going now. Back to work. Easy. to do in case you're wondering this isn't dinner and a show get back to work a surgical steel table that's been carefully put away everything is ready for an operation These gloves are made from thin plastic. It would be easy to tear them. What the hell are you doing? I might as well throw that out now. Good job. Go get me this creature's cerebellum from cold storage. Here's the pass and the reference of the member I was working on. And hurry up! These gloves are made from thin plastic. It would be easy to tear them.
Mission complete. <laughs> I'm not going to leave like that. Higher clearance required. No, that doesn't work. There's no way to open it. There's nothing to be done. It's locked. It won't open. There's no way to open it. There's nothing to be done. It's locked. No, that's not possible. There's nothing to be done. It's locked. There's no way to open it. There's nothing to be done. It's locked. I never thought I'd be handling a cerebellum. There's nothing to be done. It's locked. Jara, I didn't approve of your methods, but you were always an effective spy. They managed to get you, too. What a waste.
Decontamination complete. I still don't see what I asked for on my table. You sure took long enough. I can finally get back to work. I need that. What? Oh. These gloves are made from thin plastic. It would be easy to tear them. Decontamination complete. implant was deactivated. I need to be careful. That's the key to my cover. on human subjects in Asia, 1932 to It's unlocked. Temperature, humidity, that can't be good for the books. solution. Chlorine solution. She has a red implant that could help me find Stanford.
This looks like a weapon that has been taken apart. Most likely a prototype. It's almost as if it had been gnawed. The wires need to be spliced, but with your bare hands, that will hurt. It appears as if acid has eaten through this cable. That needs to go right to the control panel. That should help. It appears as if acid has eaten through this cable. That needs to go right to the control panel. Good, it works. Pyrolysis protocol. What? Don't, don't. Pyrolysis complete. of it. Their prototypes appear to be quite effective already. It's a perfect fit. Decontamination complete. Finally, the cleanup's going to start. Decontamination complete. Decontamination complete. None too soon. Tank number one has been cleaned. Rahim. Can you please set up the next test for me when you have time? I'll take care of it as soon as I'm done with this. I'll open the door for you. I don't understand. I need to see you there. 
Yes. Of course. This appears to be from the last century. Welcome, novice Gallagher. Very well. Let's see what I have access to now. Shit. Wrong implant. GPS location is still unavailable. I'll have to find Stanford another way. There he is! Take him downstairs! Today is September 6th, 2019. This is confession number six. Conducted by Father Walter Stanford and being assisted by Agents Hawthorne and Beck from SAD. The blank body was apprehended in our laboratory. I imagine you used one of your little magic tricks on the guards at the entrance to get inside. I don't recommend that you attempt that with me. I must endure this. Very well. Let's get down to the heart of the matter. Begin by identifying yourself. I won't say a word. You disappoint me. I expected more maturity from an old leech like yourself. We know all about you, Galeb, Suleiman, Parasite. They're all just synonyms. Repeat after me, Sultan. <laughs> Confite or Deo Omnipotenti. Repeat. Mea culpa. Mea maxima culpa. Bear your guilt until your imminent final death. Bear it, and may the Lord have mercy on you. But let's not waste our time on trivial matters. You're a businessman, after all. Time is precious to you, even if you have all eternity at your disposition. What do you want? I ask the questions, you answer. Things will be clearer that way. What did you hope to accomplish by coming here? I won't tell you a thing. You'll learn that I admire courage. But sometimes it comes with a price. Pray, if you still can. Domine la Maybe you'll stop your foolishness now. Be that as it may, you managed to find us. How? We have eyes everywhere. Did you really think we wouldn't notice anything? Impressive. 
Not to mention the fact that you managed to get in here. That's no small feat for a vampire alone. Were there any lost souls that helped you? You'll never make me talk. This could all be so much more pleasant. It's my fault. I must not have made myself clear enough. I take no pleasure in any of this. You're going to need to be more reasonable now. Let's try something else now. A subject that's especially dear to me. I know there's a place where you believe you are in safety. Since you know where we are, don't you think it's only fair that you tell us where you are? I won't tell you anything. We'll see how long you last. You leave me no choice. I'm going to have to purify you. We don't have any place like that anymore. Do you take me for an idiot? I don't think you understand. Again! Street. A nice location, which could match some of our intel. I'm intimately acquainted with Boston, you see. I was born here. That's why it's so important to me that we clean it up. We'll verify this information quickly. Very quickly. I have so many more questions to ask. Let's see what I can find out from you. It seems we've caught another who's of greater interest than you. Who? See you soon, Galen.